and today I'd like to talk to someone who would uh, like to be an online teacher and you're wondering hmm, where do I start what do I need so that's basically what I'll share with you today hi everyone welcome again to our youtube channel so i'm happy you clicked in today to watch today's video and today i'd like to talk to someone who would uh, like to be an online teacher and you're wondering hmm, where do i start what do i need so that's basically what i'll share with you today i have been an online teacher since 2015 and it has been a very great journey I've learned many things that can be very helpful to you and there are things also that you can apply and yeah, you'll be a successful online teacher. You know, we are still in that um, uh, pandemic or pandemic where virtual classroom, virtual learning is now at its peak and maybe you want to start. So I will share with you some things that are very vital that you need, okay? If the video is going to be of help to you, please remember to give it a thumbs up and as well hit the notification bell to always remind you when we upload new videos. Well, I want to share you my journey and of course something that is beneficial that would be beneficial to someone who would like to be an online teacher. Well, I started my journey way back in 2015, so I had an opportunity to teach kids from all backgrounds and different age groups, and it has been a wonderful experience. So have you ever thought of being an online teacher and you're wondering, so where do I start or what equipment do I need for me to start off? Okay, so of course we cannot... When you talk about online class, not fail to talk about equipment. Well, you need a laptop and a laptop that has a very good processor. So uh, your laptop also, you need to download a software that can help cancel noise or is barking or maybe someone is, you know, just to cancel all that. And as well, you need headsets. These days we have it that has uh noise cancellation so that's also going to help you so that it doesn't pick a necessary voice or noise and of course you need internet uh you can't go in online without internet so internet is very significant you need also internet that runs so fast some companies will check your speed and also you need also to 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 check on your internet provider so that you get a good internet connection that would be stable throughout the lessons that you're taking not to forget you also need a backup what is a backup you know sometimes i don't know if you live in the african country sometimes you go uh, there's power outage if there's power outage will you continue with classes or will you stop so that is also something you need also to consider. You need a backup plan. Suppose uh, there's power out outage rather, or your service providers, your internet service providers, they have like a problem on their side. What is your second option? So very important, okay? Uh, it reminds me when I first started, actually those days, hey, we used to have like power outage almost every other day. And I would uh, go to a friend's place and the place where I went you find that it was very noisy you know I would go there very early in the morning that's when people are doing the morning cleanups they are scrubbing the floors they are uh, eh, it was kind of noisy so that's also something that you also need to consider yeah so it reached your time I got a generator and that's when if I had power outage, I would use the generator. And then it came a time if my internet now becomes kind of very slow. In fact, this day we have good internet and <laughs> we have good internet and good internet service providers. At uh, those days it was a bit tricky, you know. You would go for all means, all manner of means, but it was still failing. Yeah, so that is also something you need to plan for. All right. I hope you're together. 
then you also need to have like a clear background it's not too much it's not detailed it's not a background that can distract your learners or your students it's just clear and this also minimizes distraction from your students end because if they see something that they they're not supposed to see it will be very it will be too much and kind of destructive imagine if i had my tv here or i had my i was in my bedroom or i was in my kitchen mm. so choosing also your background it's very vital for a conducive class moving on you need also to have a perfect lighting you know like uh, perfect lighting in that um, let's see uh, of course you can't teach outside but if you're in a house if you open your room wherever your windows rather light natural light can come in and show you're not uh, directly by the window but you're just in a position whereby that natural light can reflect in your room or you can use lights you can just put these days we have um, very portable lights that you can buy and carry and put them in a position whereby it will not be seen but it can also bring a clear view another thing is your appearance when you're coming into your class your appearance really matters i wouldn't also that means when you talk about your appearances this is the only part you're able to see so that means i also have to be decent if you're ladies you have have to be decent you don't want to wear half shoulders or you don't want to wear clothes that when you lift your hands you know this area or these areas are seen by your student it might not be uh it might not be professional you know or i'm coming with my cleavage is out it's not also not professional on class it's a class setup the only thing is it's done online so there are things also that you need to be very careful about minimizing uh, distraction can never be overemphasized distraction it there there's a lot of things that can distract you so uh maybe you're talking to your student and maybe you have tv uh on this side and you're watching a program or you're trying to read something or let's say i'm still in class and i'm finding a book i am I'm distracting my student because they will feel like I am not focusing on them. They will feel like I'm just, I mean, there's a way they will feel. They will feel like we are not connected, you know. So this is uh, on teacher's side. Try to remove things that will easily distract you. And that also means you have also to plan very well. Plan when you're going to eat. I said that for a reason because you'll find that when you're eating or probably you feel hungry you'd want to eat in class that would be distracting for your student and that's something that you need to plan or rather minimize things that will make you or distract your student or distract yourself as well let's say you somebody is at your door you want to go get the door you leave your student go and get the door it can be very destructive okay so it's something that you need to plan or get people or just write a note by the door don't ring or whatever you know or you have your phone you 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 you're teaching and there with your phone you're on whatsapp you're on all these social media platforms it can be very destructive okay so you don't have to be in all these social media platforms with your phone or just try and minimize and that also tells you, you need to uh know when you will take your break so that not every time you're rushing to pee you're rushing to do what you need to plan okay and we have like uh, different schools there are those schools that um, as teachers you're the one to decide when you will teach you open your slots for teaching so if you open your slots for teaching you don't have to open all the slots you can leave a space or, or about one hour or 30 minutes whereby you can stand up stretch a bit use the washroom uh take a walk around the house you can drink something you can make a call all those things that you'll be able to do okay 
yeah so that is my advice to anyone who would like to to be an online teacher and let nothing stop you if you want to start now start there are so many schools out there that they are looking for online tutors so what are you waiting for be an online teacher in case you want also uh, some of the contacts of the schools that I've taught or maybe you want also to find schools let me know right on the chat box then I'll be able to respond to you thank you so much and welcome again see ya my advice to anyone who would like to to be an online teacher and let nothing stop you if you want to start now start there are so many schools out there that they are looking for online tutors so what are you waiting for be an online teacher in case you want also uh some of the contacts of the schools that i've taught or maybe you want also to find schools let me know right on the chat box then i'll be able to respond to you thank you so much and welcome again in class you also need to build the trust of your students because you'll be their teacher they will be your students so you need to build a trust with them and at this point it's good depending on which level you're teaching of course it's for the adults or you're teaching yourself to the uh, um, adults then building trust it's vital in this case building trust is let them know your what they expect in your class okay and also let them know what they would expect in a class and remember to deliver so it's good point out what they will expect in your class and all those expectations all those expectations remember to deliver them okay and it's good also to know your audience know your audience in terms of know your learners know what they need and know how you can be able to meet that need especially in class in learning setup in class as well giving feedback it's usually vital because sometimes we all need feedbacks whether you did well or these are the areas that you did not do well and you need some improvement it's also something that you can let your students know and giving out homework it's good class it also has to be interactive interactive it's a two-way okay so it reaches a point you're not the only one talking so don't do talk 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 too much so that the whole 30 minutes or 50 minutes or whatever minutes you're having with your students is just you talking okay it has to be interactive give also your students an opportunity to express themselves uh if you've uh in in class also it's good when you are correcting their sentences or refining their sentences don't let just mistakes pass by have an intelligent way how to you know, uh, interject and correct them in a way that they will not feel bad okay actually it is the responsibility of the teacher to create that engaging environment you know if i am left and when you come into class you also need to put all those negative feelings aside because if i come here and i'm very annoyed you come to your class rather you're annoyed you're, or rather upset your students will be able to fail okay so come to class when you're happy so that learning can be exciting also for your students okay and smile yes smile some of us okay smile you need to smile a lot in your class not a lot of course it doesn't have to be unnecessary it doesn't have to be fake that's real and genuine not that you're smiling every time but just have that uh um uh, exciting atmosphere so uh, facial expression that would be good for your class and for your lesson and this is important you know you're using your laptop you're not using your phone most schools will not allow you to use your phone so you're using your laptop and maybe you're using the different platforms to teach okay and the school will tell you that learn to type for your students so remember it's not all about talking 
when you're refining a student answer you need to type it because afterwards they will go and review what they did and review things that you wrote to them if it's a new word you are introducing to them new expression new phrases the best way is type it type it to them okay as that's you know it's uh it's something on their side they're taking notes if they're not taking notes what they have on the chat box that is part of the notes okay so be kind also in your you also need to learn how to type very fast so that when you speak you can also be able to type when you correct mistakes you improve sentences typing it's sure okay.